So to begin this project of making your bicycle generator into two portable pieces instead of a permanent fixed mount, the first thing you want to do is change over your wing nuts as I've talked about in a video in the past about the bicycle generator. And so that's exactly what I've done. And so now I can just pull that out of the mount frame here and move it and then lock that in. And it also lets my nuts uh, not slip loose from the other side as well. I'm sorry, I'm in kind of shadowing this out here. But so all that's locked in place once that I tighten that wing nut up. And this is already tightened against the frame. Now the second thing is what we're going to do is we're going to cut this excess. Let me get out of the light area here. We're going to cut this excess wire um, that I left some space there to adjust the bike and everything. We're going to cut that about midways and we're going to do a slight adjustment by putting a connector, um, a female connector, and a male two-prone connector. Hook that into it. So what you can do then is once you uh, connect that into place here in a moment, and I'll show you how to wire that. Once that's connected, you just paint that and everything, and then whenever you want to unhook this and break it down into two pieces for transport, you just unplug that, and there you go. Wing nuts in place and the plug, you can move this top portion, and then you have the lower frame portion that you can just set wherever you need to and then set this back up. So we'll get started on the wiring now. So now at this portion, uh, what we've done is we have cut the wire in half and we've peeled back the protective coating. And what we're going to do is strip the each wire um, on each side. We're going to strip those and then we're going to mount those into our plugs with the corresponding sides of the plug so that when it goes back into place this will let the power transfer up to our meter that tells us our voltage. Now once you've wired one of the plugs whether it be the male or female it's totally your decision what you do with it as to which side that you put the plugs on but do not close up both the plugs yet until that you make sure that as you're wiring each one that they will correspond with each other so that I know which one to mark for on the each side because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a marking into the plug so that when I put this together I always know which way that it goes. Now as you can see right here I have the plugs put together and the wiring in the appropriate place. Now I've made me a little drill out spot on this right here so that when I paint this I'll know exactly how these plugs go back together. And I encourage you to do so because if you don't your meter will be reading wrong. Now I've left this just partially open because what I'm going to do now is trim this protective coating and I'm going to put that back over the wires and tuck it down inside on each of these so that it's good shape for many years to come. So now we have our plugs put together and our protective coating back into place. And so what I'm going to do now is since it's obvious that the bike is disconnected and that the belt is loose, we're going to check and make sure that we have everything in its appropriate place. And I'm going to hold this over this and check it. And it looks like we're in business. Oh yeah. So anyway, that is a, just a great way now that you can unplug your bike and take it on the go. So now this is completely separated. The bicycle is separated from its mount and you're ready to take this and move this to wherever your location is that you need it and set it back up on the go. Now just some final 411 on this modification to this build is that whenever you are storing all your wiring I encourage you to be careful and make sure that you do have your coating on everything secure uh, whenever you're going somewhere and make sure and don't let that ever get torn up because all the critical wiring is really right here and I encourage you that if you do do this build that I'm going to actually I'm actually thinking about making a PVC pipe sleeve that goes over this just to protect this motor and that way it don't ever get banged on or anything because I actually bumped that one day and one of these contacts uh, came loose and you just don't want anything happen to your motor because this is the lifeblood of your power production and uh, one other final thing is I'm so glad that I left the kickstand on that bike whenever I originally built that I was going to take that off and I ended up leaving it and so now that just makes it so convenient that if it's just one person setting this thing up you just set it over there put your kickstand out like you would with a normal bike and you can get everything prepped into place here and then undo your wing nuts set it into place and there you go